Hello and welcome to the CME Snapshot program entitled Clinical Snapshot of Moderate to Severe Topic Dermatitis, Pathophysiology, Multimodal Management, and Shared Clinical Decision Making. I am Dr. Diamant Sachi, Professor and Head of the Comprehensive Center for Inflammation Medicine at the University of Lübeck in Lübeck, Germany. Joining me today is Dr. Melinda Gooderham, Medical Director of the Skin Center for Dermatology in Ontario, Canada. This is an important group of patients who, um, you know, they take uh, a lot of interest in their care. And so you really need to spend time listening to their concerns, whether it's the adult patient that you are uh, discussing with or the parent who's the caregiver. Um, you have to understand early on what are their goals and expectations. In the European guidelines, you may see the basic therapy. It's uh, something that it also promotes the educational activities that we are doing with our patient, emollients and bath oils. You know, even if it's uh, not always a big benefit, uh, some of the patients have a positive effect on this. So, uh, what we have seen from the dopilumab trials, which have been uh, published, uh, that approximately more than one third of the patient are getting clear, most clear. Um, skin, according to investigate the global assessment called zero and one. And we see that this is a very important for uh, the short period of time of only 16 weeks. But if we see in a long-term run, there are more patients who benefit of this. And is there any sort of new data for dupilumab that you can share with us? Oh, Melina, there are so many new data. We have this uh, open label extension study for all the patients who have been in trial, have uh, run to an extension trial, and we are gathering this information. And the most recent, and I think it was a very, very exciting data to see how the small children, how the children between the age 6 and 12 are doing. And we see similar results like in uh, adults. But let's take a look at the recent conversation you had with a young patient with a topic of dermatitis. Do you find yourself getting anxious? Yeah, we've talked about this before. It's like, it's just a big circle. I, I itch and then I scratch and I get embarrassed. And then I get worried or upset about people at school um, teasing me. And then I, I get a bad flare and then I start to feel anxious about the flare and then the itching and then I get more upset and it, it just goes round and round. Well, I remember last time we talked, you had uh, said that if there was anything new, you wanted to hear about it. So I just wanted to let you know that... Um, there is a new medication on the market for your age group. I, I did tell you before that it was coming, but it's finally here. Uh, it's called Dupilumab. And it was only being used on adults for the past few years. Uh, but now we can use it for teenagers too. And I think I told you that our clinic did do some of the testing for this treatment. And you think it's going to make the itching stop? Yes, I really do. And it will also help the dermatitis on your hands and the redness on your skin and your scalp that's itchy. And besides, if you're itching less, then you're sleeping better. And then you'll be able to go out and see your friends and you won't be embarrassed on a Zoom call or you won't have to sit at the back of the class. And of course, if you go in children, uh, I will see that a lot of these children also report that um, a vast majority of them, they are not able to do their daily activities. Uh, that almost half of the children and, and teenagers and adolescents, they have uh, reported negative effects on the school performance. And children are not diplomatic, as you know. Belinda, how do the presence of comorbid condition affect your management of the patient with atopic dermatitis in your daily practice? It is nice to know that some of the medications that are being approved for atopic dermatitis will also manage some of the comorbidities, for example, asthma or allergic rhinitis, nasal polyps. So if you can choose a therapy that will target more than one, uh, one of their conditions, I think that's always a win for the patient. Mm -hmm. 